Episode 74. The saga continues. Dude. The epic saga <laughs> of the so... 74th episode, dude. I'm sorry, man. This is our Lord of the Rings. This is. Minus the anthology of previous work, dude. It's like if, it's like if Tolkien wrote the series and burnt all the books except for the last. It's, it's, we've it's... gone, we've battled the spider. We've gone through the fucking woods. We've peeked into Mordor, dude, and here we are. This has been... I'm, I'm definitely handling myself like Elijah Wood. <laughs> this is I'm like, I don't know if I can keep going. <laughs> we've recorded it. Ahead. This is this? a day and a half in the making, this dude. This has to be... How many times do you think we started over? Four? Four, yeah. Four different episodes. And each time I'm like, I can't... Four, I four episodes and two and a half hours of fucking yeah. footage. And, and you, you've been killing it. You've been killing it. Oh, man. You have been. I, I listened just... to them again. I'm just... Just being a sissy, dude. Why are you being a sissy? I don't know. I, th- I think I was. I think I was a little tired yesterday. You gotta get out of your head, dude. I, think I was a little tired. I was fully in my head. You gotta get out. I of got there. a fucking ticket yesterday. Ah, I forgot that about fucking that. put yeah. me in a horrible mood. Then I was. True that. Then I was anxious about getting to that show because we were running a little late. To yeah, record. yeah. He- yeah, helium. And I was. Yeah. I just, True that. It was my woman brain. It, dude, we all have on. a part. You're anima, like, dude. You're anima. Like, fucking acted up. I was like, we're running late. This is his fault. Like, come on. This is his fault that we're late. I don't need to do this. Like, I can I can feel the fucking the woman madness towards you. Oh, you got to. I was get, like, I need to fucking. You got to start meditating. Like, we got to turn this off. You got to start meditating. Yeah, well, maybe it's because my yoga practice is taking a hit. Really? I haven't been doing it. You've been off the of CBDs too. I've been off. Yeah, I did have to stop those. They did were you? too powerful. See, what I'm telling you, the mix is the perfect one because the big bottle. Some motherfuckers, dude, that I won't even name, are trying to spread rumors that I'm cutting it with oregano oil. Ooh, I'll what? fuck them up, dude. Yeah. Who the fuck is my this? My boy hit me up. He's like, "Yo, I'm defending your honor, dude." But some people are saying that the big one. So there's the 750, which is high concentrated, which kind of <laughs> gives you, like gives you a buzz. Then there's a 900 milligram. Which is like not as high potency, but I th- it's pleasant. It's nice, does the trick. But if you're used to the 750 and you do the 900, or you're just kind of like the 900 is not as potent per milliliter. Oh, okay. But there's still more milligrams in the bottle. I see. So I mix the two, so it's not as like spacey and like stone yeah. feeling, and you're still buzzing around, but you still get a nice fucking relaxer. So I mix the bottles. So I might start mixing them, make my own fucking. I felt drink. like I was driving poorly on really? CBD oil. Like, I felt like I was real fucking relaxed. Like, I'd be on the turnpike just like, uh, going fucking 80 around turns. Just like, uh, <laughs> you killed all your, You killed around. all your anxiety, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy. It, I mean, it's like, it technically is a GABA reuptake inhibitor. So, like, it, whatever the fuck GABA is, I don't know. But it, but it's some shit like serotonin. It's, it's one of those reuptake. motherfuckers that floats around your brain and floats through the sparks, Serotonin. Dude. What do you serotonin. Think about? Serotonin. <laughs> Shout serotonin. Out. Dopamine. Dopamine's highly responsible for schizophrenic behavior. Really? Schizophrenics are like their bloods are freighted, their brains are flooded in dopamine. That's what happened to the YouTube lady. Dude, Did that yeah, I got out. into that, man. That's What's her name. I can't even pretend to know her name. Yeah, but it was it's some it's like Iranian Turkish name. It's a tough it's one of the tough ones, dude. But my thing is like I don't think this fucking mass shooting stuff is about I mean, yeah, it's about guns. They're using guns, but it's like, what do people in Iraq use and shit? Or not Iraq, but like uh, Syria. It's like, they use fucking bombs. So it's like, take guns. Yeah. People are still going to fuck shit up regardless. Yeah. And I mean, whatever. Take guns and do what you got to do. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a meaning issue. Because this lady was like a cause, heavy cause head. Vegan, vegan bodybuilder, she animal was, rights activist. Was, I don't know about necessarily. Workout. She tried to be like a workout guru. Her one workout video got flagged because it was too sexy, dude. Did you see the one workout video? Fuck, I tried to send they it They took to all you. her content down. Why? I saw, I was able to watch it on Reddit. She, nice. From Reddit to her webpage. And then when I tried to forward it to you, it didn't work. It was gone. It was her just doing squats. And it was the funniest fuck. She had like this weird, it looked like the from the video from Blue. Remember, I'm blue. Oh my like, god! Like it was that shitty of a background, <laughs> and like her doing squats over and over again, and then like spiders crawling around. She had sick graphics. I'll she, give her that. It was, she I mean, was let us re- let us remember her legacy, dude. True. She had sick fucking graphics, she dude. Was damaged as fuck. I mean, they demonetized her, bro. <laughs> you better not. They demonetized her channel. She fucking went in, dude. I'm telling you, that was a person just <laughs> desperate for a cause to put themselves to. Like, I love veganism. I love that. And she was like, yeah. I'm a YouTuber. I'm getting my message out. And they were like, you can't make money off this shit. And she was like, what else is there? And she's like, oh, yeah, death and fucking mayhem. True. And rolled in there and missed. Yeah, of course. Thank God that wasn't she, a white man. She missed. Oh, God. Pretty, 30, pretty it it would have put up numbers. It would have been like 30 dead. Yeah. 
oh, especially YouTubers, the workers. Oh God, just a, limp wristed. Well, this is not the time. Just a to, soft <laughs> body. Shame. Well, here's the thing, dude. How many of these things can happen before you can't make fun of them? Especially, did anybody even die? Did her? Her? Yeah, she, she turned the on, gun on herself. She took one on the chin, dude. She turned the gun on herself. She a lot like Bod. Yeah, dude. Eh, that happens. You better fucking. It does, dude. She was getting like, like ten cents out of like a video. <laughs> she really was. Well, it sucks. Why did they take all her videos down? They won't let you see any of her shit. It's like let us fuck. Let's study this lady, dude. Let the mass. I I what I saw, the little bit that I saw. I'm like she has crazy girlfriend face, dude. Well, I've dated girls that have that, like, strained smile of, like, uh, and yeah. you're like, oh, God. The shit I saw, I was just like, oh, this person's schizophrenic. Like, yeah, she, getting... she had, like, hard mental issues. It wasn't like, this wasn't like a normal person that wanted a cause. I mean, she definitely wanted causes. Yeah, yeah. But this was just a... What did she want? This, what did she want, This dude? was a mental retard. What did she want? She wanted, she was retarded. She didn't know. She wanted she that YouTube a, money, she had, dude. She was paranoid. She Yo. was, like, super paranoid. She was nuts. Here's all I'm saying, dude. Why don't we just take a lady like that, have a weird algorithm on YouTube where like either they just give you like millions of fake views and like a little universal basic income where you can kind of live in some weird environment and no <laughs> one ever, you're like, yeah, you're a YouTube star, man. You make fucking a thousand bucks a month. You live at your parents' house and do what you got to do. Hopefully someday. That's what YouTube should have done. Someday dude. we can get there. YouTube should have done Instead of like diminishing her views... She was looking at stats. She I had them posted on that website of hers. I'm not going to lie, dude. She's like, look at this. YouTube. There's a little bit of her and me. When Libsyn fucked with our stats, I was like, oh. where is this fucking place exactly? <laughs> <laughs> where is it going on here? <laughs> yeah. You don't know which one. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, R.I.P., lady. R.I.P., whatever you're You will not be forgotten. Weird dude. name was. You made a good run, dude. Dude, she went and got five stars, bro. <laughs> she couldn't, did. Get, couldn't duck the helicopter. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's dude. That sucks. That, but, ah, man. I mean, I'm gonna say though, if your kid does kill themselves, you know what I mean. What to go shoot a couple people at YouTube first? It's like, what? It's not the worst, dude. What are you talking about? It's not the saddest, dude. <laughs> <It is. laughs> no, there's totally worse is. ways, dude. Uh, I mean, you get to get on the news. It's not just a quiet, hushed ordeal. It's like, yeah, my kid freaked out and shot YouTube, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not a good take. Dude. It's not. It's not at all. That's why Paul made his fucking comeback. To I, I came out. I came out on stage with the, who the fuck's the guy's name from Wild Wild Country with the folded yeah. hands. Yeah, you walked out like that. No, I was. I What's was his like, name? That's hilarious. Ogoshi or some shit. I forget his name. Whatever his name is, I'll, it'll come back to me. I hit him with the with the folded hands, dude. I'm praising yeah. the crowd, and within like three seconds, I'm like, they don't like this. And I was holding water, so it was weird. So I, I like just bailed it out of that instantly, <laughs> and started telling these people about my new idea. I was like, I'm just gonna do stand up, dude. It's always gonna be free, and then I'll just put it out on the internet. Once I get a half an hour, it goes out on YouTube, free for the people. I'll make advertisers pay, and if they don't, the advertisers don't pay. They'll fucking pay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll pay, dude. Mark my fucking words. <laughs> you didn't say that, did you? No. All right. I, was gonna say, I, was I didn't even. I didn't even know. Lost. I didn't even know that happened. They were just freaked out because I was telling them how I had like no gods, no masters. I was like, "Fuck this club. Fuck fucking yeah, club yeah, owners. Yeah. I don't give a shit." And they were just kind of like, "This guy's a fucking psycho." But it was fun, man. I, That's I what you said you wanted. You I were had like, fun. I want to. I want to be like a Pet Boys employee. You can't get away from. I know. I want to be like a guy in the waiting room when you're like waiting for your oil change. Some guy who just sits next to you, and you're like, I, I, I'm here. I, I got to deal with this guy's statements. This guy. That's how I want my. You went on stage, dude. just like I only exist. I only exist in the cyber realm. <laughs> People were like, "What the fuck is it?" You're like 23rd at an open mic. Like I am. I have no masters. <laughs> I was on the way thinking about how funny it would be. To like do that, get thirty weird minutes, and then go to like book shows at like Bristol Comedy Works, like really conservative, like old people rooms, and just do like a full half filmed hour where I just bomb on stage <laughs> and then just release it to YouTube. I'd love that. It'd be so fun. That'd be awesome. It'd be so fun. Yeah, and then I followed you, and I was I was running hot, dude. Oh, well, the, I came out fucking. You swinging. came out. I could tell you were like, I'm about to show him what I've been up to, dude. No, show no, him what no, stand ups no, no. about, Not dude. At all. A little bit. Not at all. A little bit. No. A little bit. I mean, I was happy you were there. Exactly. But there was no part of me that I was like, I want him to see all my progress. There not was not that. that, but it's be like, welcome back. Here's what I've been up to, dude. And you came back and it was like, it was, was came out hot, dude. Boom, boom, came out boom. hot. What up? What up? <laughs> Bam. And then I was like, what's a white Uncle Tom? Boom. Crowd. <laughs> the crowd is We were gone. talking about how you were in Indian Indianapolis yeah, yeah, yeah. and you're like, I just did a black show out in Indianapolis and fucking crushed. I just butt fucked a room of black people. <laughs> and the crowd gets kind of weird. And like, no, in a good way. 
But I definitely pandered though. I was like, I love Black Panther. Like, what do you call White Uncle Tom? And the Rumors goes, <gasps> and just zipped yeah, up, dude. That was nice. Total fucking like, oh my god. Oh, oh my. Everyone was just freaking out. But you got out of it. I rode that storm for about eight minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, fucking rose from the ashes, dude, dude. That was so fucking funny. I needed that. I needed that fan to to approach me afterwards. Oh, that stout Indian yeah, fellow. Dude. He's he's come to the last like months. He's been, in, he, he's been admiring you. He comes up every time and he's just like, that was fucking incredible, dude. Dude, that's sick. He's like, that was amazing. Even even last night he was like... I saw it. He was like, I didn't think you could get out of that. It was, you were bombing. It was you, Shaner, me, and then this dude comes up and starts praising you. Whichever, whenever you're in a tree out of comedians and you praise one, the other two are just like, fuck you, fuck you, <laughs> oh, yeah, fuck yeah, yeah, you. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's like, it fucks you up so bad that your body is destroyed. Just mentally. So they're like our fireworks, basically, like for a dog. Yeah. Literally, we're like... <laughs> yeah, except for like four years. Oh, God, And you get to watch everybody explode around you. Damn. Yeah, it was real terrible. It was really shitty. fucking insane. It's pretty bad, dude. The artwork that came out of it was sick, though. A lot what? of these soldiers like became artists. True, from yeah, they came home. Some, with gas masks and trenches, and it's pretty sick. That's true. Especially coming back, you're on the GI Bill, it's like, well, I'm not getting a regular job, dude. Yeah. I just saw people explode. It's like, I'm not going to go... Punch for a stamp license place, dude. Again. Again. You gotta imagine. These are heavyweight boxers. <laughs> and they think that we're gonna land the first blow. <laughs> the next thing you know. <laughs> it's just, dude, he's fucking nuts. He is, I think it's like the D'Angelo video where remember everyone thought D'Angelo was getting a blowjob and like no one could see it. Oh, I think yeah. Carlin's getting stroked and he's like, and then oh, that's a good theory. In. He I, is getting head every. Fucking I think. Remember, episode. he always uh, who's the guy he always references? He's like, if you even exist, yeah, 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 yeah. That guy's yeah. probably giving him like a foot job under the table. That he's makes perfect like, sense. Oh, oh, the Franco Prussian War. <laughs> yeah. Um. Speaking of the D'Angelo thing, you were talking to me about uh, R&B songs. Oh, my God, dude. Yeah, I forget what it was. It's funny as shit. I hit this theory the other day. Oh, I, I've had a, a very turbulent racial time with my girlfriend recently to where, like, well, not turbulent, but just she's been putting me in really uncomfortable waters to where, like, I'm, I'm hanging out. With her. I'm, I'm not even hanging out. I'm on the couch. I'm chilling. She calls me the other day, and I was telling her, like, I had plans to hang out with, uh, it was Dirk and his girlfriend. White dude, black chick, same setup. Damn. And I was like, yeah, we're going to, you know, we'll chill out or whatever. We're going to hang out. And because uh, my girlfriend's all about church, dude. It's like she really wants to go start going to a church. So I'm like, they go to a church, like a non-denominational church. I'm like, we'll go with them, whatever. She's like, well, like what kind of black chick is this? What kind of black chick is she? And I literally was Wait, you like, guys went on a double date to church? No, he didn't go yet. He didn't. Dirk invited me. And I was like, that would be nice for her. So That's thoughtful of you. Exactly, dude. And and here's the thing, because it's like Catholic Mass. I She wanted to go to Catholic Mass. I fucking brought her with my mom. I, I can't handle that, dude. It freaks me the fuck yeah, out. Yeah, Catholic Mass is intense. And I'm equally as terrified as full black church, dude, because I know I'm going to walk in there. I've been I've done it before where like I went to the Universal Circus where I'm the only fucking white dude. People are just kind of looking at you, and it's like, it's not comfortable, dude. Yeah. No one gives mean or anything, but it's like I'm dreading the fact that I got to go and do the full-on sister act thing, dude. It's like... So I was like, well, this is like, he said it's like half white, half black Asian people and shit. So I'm like, fuck it. If I'm going to go to one, dude, I'll go to that one. But the whole point of the story is she was like, well, what kind of, she was like, well, is it all white people or whatever? I was like, no, I was like, his girlfriend's black. She's like, what kind of black person, like what kind of, you know, what kind of black? And I was like, she's a, uh, and just mentally just disconnected. Like, uh, yeah, that's tough. I was like, how the fuck do I answer that? And I literally was just like, uh, she's level two. It's like, what the fuck is level two? What's that mean? I'm like, out of three, she's level two, dude. Fucking you do the math, man. It's one. Maybe there's more than there should, there should be at least five. That's I said there was five. Three with, is I low. said there was five with white people, so I guess I'll give five. But I was I was on the fucking spot, dude. I was like, one, two, three. One as in like who's that lady everyone hates? Um oh, fuck. She used to be like a uh, Stash. Stacy Stacy Dash. Dash. She's not. She's not even one. You 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 get the idea though. It's like one. If you, you're talking one is Condoleezza Rice. Yes, that's, that's one. Full on fucking. She's whiter than me. Exactly. Yeah. That's one. And then it's two, Stacey which is Dash. like Stacy Dash. Okay, we're gonna go to one through five. Yeah. I was on a one through three. It was just like no. Condoleezza Rice, my girlfriend, and then like arguing with people just foreigners at Seven Eleven, tombstoning their kids at Walmart, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a five. One, two, three. That's five. Yeah. Five. No, five is uh. 
Five's like a, a actual like a full on litter, like stopping your car in traffic, getting out and like throwing a fucking soggy roll of toilet paper across the street, talking to your friend for ten minutes, getting back in your car, flipping someone off and driving. That's five. True. That's fair. Five is like black Israelite. Because there you got to be on the yeah, spectrum somewhere. Yeah, okay, so that's four. If you get out of your car <laughs> and talk to someone... That's that's not a real thing. If you're holding up traffic to talk to your friend for ten minutes... That's a five. F- four. Black Israelites, five. You're right. Black I mean, we could, we, could, we, could, we could do this. I'm, I'm sticking to my one through three, dude. No, three is too small. Hey, five. dude, you when you're on five. the spot, dude, and when your babe's I like... I understand. How black is she? And you're like, hey, I can't answer this. Uh, I can't answer... No, I'm like, she's... One through five. She's a 1.5 two like you, dude. I don't know. I haven't seen her angry, you know, that's a fucking they can hulk out and hit a three, you know. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what's what's the white scale then? One through five, dude. It's like And white there's white so there's white people who I see and I'm like they freak me out, they're so white. That's a one. Ski lodge. Ski lodge, full on rain boots, full family and like Patagonia, fucking, North Face. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And they like when they run, it's fucking weird. You see them like run to catch a like an Uber or something, they're like like they look like horses that just got born. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> and then right. there's like level two would be, level two white would be like um, upper middle class or rich people. Upper middle f- class. No, one is like, but you can be rich and be like a two. That's a th- or like a four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would say like yeah, two is upper middle class. It's like you know you can go on a construction site. You're kind of weird. Your khakis are tied up your butt, but you can still be like, "Hey, boys," and at least pretend to kind of. Yeah. And they're all like, "What a fucking like standard gay bird. bosses." Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I can think of that. And three, I'm a three. I'd say you and I are threes. We can we we can dither in both realms. I think I'm border on three point five. All right, I'm a three. Because I, I can get like last night, I was a four. <laughs> a couple a couple BLs. I'm a couple BLs away no, from a four. Yeah, it's a three. All right. When you get a couple BLs and you start being like, "I'll tell you what," it's, that's <laughs> fucking going into three to two. But then again, I was anti-cop, which is a hard white five, dude. That's militia level. That's true. <laughs> that's a five, dude. <laughs> that's a board five. I took a like, couple BLs. That's and a board five. Be like, what can I meddle in today? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's. I'm more of a three. And then there's a. Brittany called my mama too, which I was like, "What'd you try to say, babe?" I was like, "I was like, yeah, man." She's like, "Your mom's a fucking cracker, dude." No, she's saying two. Like, oh no, no, I'm sorry. She was saying my mom's like a four. four. She's like, "Yeah, your dad's about three. Yeah, your mom could be about a four. And I was like, "What'd you try to say, babe?" Saying hard white. Well, she was more saying like she's like got more blue collar roots. Yeah. So my mom's an upper yeah. barbarian. White trash. Yeah, she's got it. She's sipped it, dude. She's got bit she's by got the WT it. vampire. Beautiful woman, dude. I love her. My dad comes from that world. Does he? My, yeah. So does my dad, but we tease my dad because my dad's always like, I grew up poor, right? And we're always like, dude, fuck you. No, you didn't. You're such a bitch, dude. It's so <laughs> yeah. funny. God, I would hate to have you guys as sons. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I catch myself every now and again where, like, everything he's... He had, like, a mosquito. One time he had a mosquito <laughs> go down his pants, and I'm like, yeah, dude, he probably thought it was a, he found his fucking friend. He was just like, you know what? You're a fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> It's like everything he says, dude. He has like five people just fucking hitting him yeah. hard. And you're, you're, yeah, your brothers are terrifying. You're relentless, dude. They're very funny. Relentless, Billy dude. cracks me the fuck Billy's up. Billy's fucking dude. funny. Kevin will get you. Tom's a motherfucker. See, I don't know Tom and. Tom's Kevin. a motherfucker, dude. I do know there's another election where they, they're yeah. trying to elect like county officials. They're trying to buy the entire county. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so in order to get votes, they're like, we need to just get at least a thousand people more in our city. So they just go out and get as many homeless people as they can from all over the country. God just homeless damn, dude. dudes. And they're like, you come live with us and vote with us. And then that's, they were when, just the, like, that's when the wheels come off. Because those boys came in. They're like, this is paradise. We oh, got a house now. God. But the, that doesn't fix you. No. You're still fucking That's one of those things there. where like maybe 15% of the homeless people were like, okay, I'm getting back on my feet. But, dude, a lot of those guys are, like, completely yeah. schizophrenic and just whacked. And so they bring, in, they bring in a thousand of them, and they're like, we can fix them. We can treat them like humans. And then they're like, dude. They just wild the fuck out. We're wilding out. Rape city, dude. Let's they, get they nutty. Get some, they they, they, they some probably got rapes. a couple people. They, they were fighting people. They were True, fucking, and if you're living, if you're homeless. homeless dudes. If you're homeless, dude, that's just, I mean, it's feral. So, like, rapes, yeah. rapes fucking happen in the homeless community. You're raping. You're getting raped, and you're raping, dude. You it's better. rape or be raped. It's a rapey rape. That's world, a rapey. Dude. That's a rape culture, dude. That's a if you're real living rape on the streets, culture. that's the biggest thing. If you're living in abandoned houses and shit, what's to stop some fucking methed out junkie to just like spot you out in your sleeping bag and fucking tear through that Crawl thing under and get you, dude? 
they get fucking raped hard. <laughs> and most people, you don't think about that, man. When you see some guy with a sign, it's like you probably just. That's got why they hard. sit on those vents. Let yeah. the steam come up, <laughs> fucking steam that butt out, dude. They just took one in the fucking keister. <laughs> I love the idea, though, of this commune just being like, we can take these people in. Oh, and then so just funny. instantly, it's just like the, the whole thing just dissolves. And then they start like exporting homeless people. They're like, all right, you got to get out of here. Well, wait, dude, it's, it's a tale as old as time. I think, and I, I think I'm not <laughs> totally sure, David Bowie did something like this to where he was like, people just need a place to go to and freely like create and express themselves. And it just turned into a bunch of people mooching off him and acting like assholes. Or he was like, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck. And it's like, you break every. That's what happens when you do so many hallucinogenics and acid and shit that you break everything down to like the beginning of time in your own head to where you're like, no, nah, we can start new. And then you just go on this new path and all of the old lessons of everything is like, oh yeah, all this shit's here for a reason and it all makes sense. Yeah. And you get depressed and you become like a shitty hippie and you're like, you become a cynical hippie and dude, that's another hippie. Get away from them, dude. What? Cynical a hippies? Cynical hippie, dude. What happens? He was like, all of a sudden turns 40 and is like, ah, fuck, I do need money. Starts being a Republican kind yeah, of? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like a moderate it's Democrat. Like, I need some money. Like, I, they start selling ice cream. They're like, all right, fuck it. Kind of like for the war in Iraq all of a sudden. Yeah, dude. You gotta, I'm Makes telling you. Sense. That's what happens, man. You like, that's what, when I was living in my fucking ecosystem, a house where I was like, I don't need fucking Well, you anything. didn't know ecosystems were fake. True that, dude. That was the problem. True that, dude. Look at that. I'm telling you, that's what happens. That's what's going to happen to all these people, too. All these weird kids are like, I just need to do my art. And like, this is bullshit. It's like, you run smack up into the fucking the world. And you're like, yeah, maybe these homeless people, you know, maybe people did try to help them. And they were just absolutely yeah. unable to do it. You do run into that with your art. I'm good at my art. Yeah. And I'm still, you know. At rock bottom. You start, I mean, when you're younger <laughs> and you're like, why do people have these dumbass fucking jobs? And then all of a sudden it's like. Oh, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's what, what's funny is that's what uh, Tim Dillon was saying this weekend at McGooby's. What? He was like, I was talking to these younger comics, and I'm like, quit now. He's like, because the people, the winners in this, I remember when I started, and I was like, fucking suckers, nine to five with a family, boring ass life. Yeah. And he's like, then you keep doing this for a while, and you're like, man, those are the winners. Yeah. It's like, you just work nine to five, come home, do whatever you want. You got your family. Yeah. Kids. You have free time. You got your You're not own even... house and seclusion. Yeah. He's well, like, I'm out here in fucking New York doing mics every night. <laughs> that shit sucks. That actually sucks. <laughs> well, the thing that no one, I mean, not no one, but like when people who are, people who have like fame lust, if you can't, if you're mentally disturbed by trying to gain fame, you're going to be equally, if not more disturbed by the actually having fame because then there's the possibility of losing it. So it's never, it's a fucking, you're squeezing a wet bar of soap, dude. It's never going to fucking... You're equally like, oh my god, I'm not relevant anymore, and I don't know. Yeah, it, true. You never win, dude. It never stops. I think that's what happened to Tiffany Haddish is already saying some crazy shit. You, dude. I mean, you're right not really, you're not really fucking made to handle this shit, man. Yeah. To fucking look like having hundreds of thousands of people evaluate you and write about you every day. I can't. We're handle designed it. for like forty people <laughs> villages. I can't handle like one person on Reddit. <laughs> I can't handle one person like being like, "Yeah, that guy kind of sucks." I'm like driving around, just like, "Fuck, dude, I fucking suck." <laughs> Delete the podcast because we're made for like forty person, fifty person villages. So it's a big deal if like two people are like, "Yo, fuck that guy." You're like, you're designed to be like. Ah oh, shit! That's that's a change. that's a good sixteenth of the village, dude. Who's against me? That <laughs> yeah, could result in you getting fucked up. It it fucking crushes me. It's not if, good, if I get one negative review, dude, I'm just I'm telling such you, man. a fucking pussy about it half the time, and then other times I'm the man. I'm I've, like, dude, I don't give a fuck. A I've, couple BLs in me, and yeah, I'm just like, yeah. dude, I don't give a. I've fuck. gotten better about it, but I can still be like. If I'll hear something and I'll kick around in the old head, in the old echo chamber for a while, where I'm like, I do have an annoying laugh, and I'm like, Oh, oh I remember that. I remember saying that. <laughs> I to still you. remember I'm that. Like, somebody reviewed us and was like, Somebody on that has an annoying fucking laugh. And I instantly I was like, It's definitely me. And I was like, It's definitely you. Yeah. But I just, you if know, if you would have said that to me, I would have been like, Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I've been devastated. You took it well. I apologize for that. No, I don't care. That's the thing. I eventually am like, You get over it to where you're like, Whatever, man. But my whole and this is like the YouTube shooter. I mean, I, she was like schizophrenic, <laughs> but it's like. I was I, this dude this morning when I woke up from my weird meth dreams. I like woke up this morning and I was just like, dude, that lady, like if we, I mean, and it sucks because you can't go back to the village life. It just, it sucks. That's not good either. But it's like no. mentally, we're not, we're supposed to like, you wake up, you if to eat, you got to run around and exercise and hunt. Like you're life and death all day long. So there's never this like, what am I doing with my, you're running around doing stuff. And then like you're with 40 people, you're telling six stories, you're by the fire. People are eating fucking ayahuasca and it's, you're just like. Yes, this is fucking chill. 
materially it's uncomfortable. That's a, that's a materially it's uncomfortable. This is Joe Rogan theory. Mentally, it's I mean, dude, I I'm like, I, I see it. that. I, I believe it. Too. I see that, but I also, dude, I love air conditioning and shit. But it's like, dude, if people and I, I think it will. If people could fuse those two worlds, be like, all right, we have all of our shit. We're chill. And stop bugging themselves out to the max and being like, they're demonetized my videos. <laughs> It'd be a nice thing for people. I don't know. I don't think we'll ever get there. We won't. We're not we we're won't. not we're not designed to be like I'm that. I'm getting afraid of another world war after listening to this one. Um Yeah, man. But dude, dude. One time one time mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. Caitlin and I first started dating, mm-hmm. I think I told you this. That I, I was talking to this girl at a bar. She was very hot and I could have hooked up with her. Yeah. And I was like I got so drunk that I went home, called Caitlin, left a voicemail, and I was like, I was with the hottest fucking girl tonight, and I didn't do anything, because I love you so much. Oh, my God. And, and I like hung up, and I was like, that was a nice thing. I woke up the next morning, just like, holy shit, dude, what a <laughs> stupid fucking voicemail. What do you mean, the hottest? Uh... I was like, she, she was all right, and that was just a joke. <laughs> Damn, dude. Yeah, that's, I mean, they can't appreciate that. Can't appreciate the true art of being like. Even if a, if a girl was off. like, I was with the hottest guy, but I didn't even touch him. I'm like, ew, you were fucking horny for some guy. What the yeah, fuck's true. wrong with no, you? No, it is. Ew. Yeah. I think girls can understand though. When there's like, I ch- I get caught looking at asses on a, every time I go food shopping. I'll look over and Brittany will be like, "What's that?" I'm like, "Fat fucking ass, bro." You call fat me. old ass. I got. I was like, I, I just it fucking took Real me. Thick ass bitch in the. There's ball. a lady who works at Whole Foods who has the most bubblicious butt, dude. And that's another one, dude. I'm like, I'm having you a good. To get in there. I see her enough. I have a good rapport, but I'm just like. Get away from me, dude. What do you think about... Uh, here's one for you. Would you Nuru with that Lyft driver? I would Nuru her, dude. I'd let her lay on the fucking air mattress. How about that? you would that? Nuru her. I would Nuru her. You would not drive. Yeah, man. There Jesus was so much Christ. fucking driving. That was another thing that contributed to me being salty yesterday. That was, yeah, dude. That was a week straight of just driving at least... Driving at least two hours every day for a week. It's not good, man. No, it was tough. I listened to four straight episodes of... Dan Carlin, those episodes are like four hours long. Holy fuck! Yeah. All World War One. Again. Oh my god! And again. <laughs> you put me onto that, and I can't. I listen to it even. I listen to it for fucking sixteen hours, and every time you said again, I was like, God damn it, dude! How many can you count? And again, it's constantly. Just get your head around it. It's like imagine again. <laughs> These are human beings, like you and I. Torture. Dude, if he you don't listen to torture. fucking hardcore history, you're it's, fucking up. Dude, it's listen so fucking Listen to World War One. It's, it's called uh, Blueprint for Armageddon, I think. Oh, it's so fucking good. That's like good. part... You'd listen to parts one through four. Yeah. I still have another part of it. I'm a WW2 head. So am I. But WW1 man, is kind of fucking... You get it now. When you I hear know, the I never stories, got into it, dude. When you imagine... I never got into it. What did our ancestors go through? Again. True that. It's fucking nuts. Dude, I, I just... Like I said, that shit is... It's so weird to me to think about how that shit started because when you look at it, it's usually yeah, econo- it's usually that. economic shit, dude. Yeah, it's usually a couple billionaires are like, "Nah, dude, fuck you," and they're like, "Fuck me, huh? All right, dude. Well, how about this?" And they like whisper into some fucking nut, and they're like, "Dude, pss, pss, pss. yeah, go guy shoot goes in, someone. shoots the archduke. Next thing you know, dude, there's like millions of people dead. And it's like, yeah, all right, we win. It's yeah. fucked up. It is, but this Scary. was uh, this was at a time when there weren't a lot of huge armies." Leading yeah. up to this, there was never really a war like this. That Other was the first one. The American one? Civil War was like kind of pre, like industrial yeah. war where thousands and thousands and thousands died. So, like, everybody kind of looked at the American Civil War and was like, that's kind of what it's going to be like. Mm-hmm. There were small wars everywhere, like Japanese versus Russia, the Russo Japanese yeah, yeah. War, where like you got to kind of see what's coming, but nobody knew World War I was going to be like. I mean, it, was, it opens with like cavalry charges into machine guns. Here, where millions of people are dying. That's fucked up. In oh, the they were same, still in old school mode yeah, yeah, of like standing in guns. lines, like the French when they, yes. you know, when the Americans went out and got not all necessarily standing up. in line, but yeah, pretty much. Yeah, like old school tactics against like they like we would just build a fort and then the other the other side would have artillery and just destroy it. Think about how much it's advanced now. Now it's like you go gain intelligence through like cyber hacking, and then you have people like throwing secret coups over there, dude. Yeah, you couldn't. I don't. They have to take the whole economic, like military, industrial complex, and just take all that money and invent like a really sick game that all the countries can play, 
and whoever wins the game, you can put the same effort of war into it. Whoever wins gets like the more of the like the money spoils. Bitcoins. Yeah, or like you know, you just get more of the money and more of the cool stuff rather than going in. It's like so everyone's playing this fucking game. It's nonstop. That'd be, that'd that's a good. Sick. That'd be a good thing to do. That's a nice thing. You know, 